Hello friends, in the last videos we learned about identity 5, 6 and 7 to simplify polynomials. Let us learn a new identity. This is identity 8 and it is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to product of two factors x plus y plus z and x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. Remember it has three variables x, y and z. Let us take an example. Find factors of 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz. It is a cubic polynomial that is highest degree of 3. So let us see which identity holds true here. As it has a negative sign it cannot be x plus y whole cube because we know x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y that is everything positive. Can it be x minus y whole cube which is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y? No because the problem given has three variables x, y and z not two variables just x and y. Let us see if it looks similar to identity 8 which is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. It's a pattern, very simple pattern. So 27 x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xy can be written as, look start from leftmost, 27 x cube is equal to 3x whole cube, 9 x y z which is on the rightmost is equal to 3 into 3 x into y into z. Yes it matches identity 8. So we get 3 x plus y plus z as the first factor because 3 x is the first term, y is the second and third is the z. So instead of x it is 3 x here and the other factor would be 3x whole square plus y square plus z square minus 3xy minus yz minus z into 3x. So we need to put 3x instead of x in the identity. Simplifying further, so these are the two factors of 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz. This identity 8 is used for these kind of special cases only. There are three variables and only one term which includes all the variables then only consider this identity like the examples given here. Without actually calculating the cubes find the value of this expression. Minus 12 whole cube plus 7 cube plus 5 cube. We can use the same identity here also. Minus 12 as x, 7 as y and 5 as z. How? Because this identity has four terms x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy whereas the problem has three terms only minus 12 cube my plus 7 cube plus 5 cube. So what we can do take 3xy to the other side. So x cube plus y cube plus z cube will become two terms x plus y plus z into x square plus y square minus xy minus yz minus zx plus 3xyz. 3xyz comes to the other side. Now solve it. In the first term look x plus y plus z which is equal to minus 12 plus 7 plus 5 which is equal to minus 12 plus 12 which is equal to 0. So x plus y plus z which is 0 into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx this whole term will become 0. 0 into 0 is anything is 0. So we are only left with the second term that is plus 3xyz which is equal to 3 into x is minus 12 into 7 which is y into 5 which is z. Now when we solve it we get minus 1 to 6 0. So the final answer is minus 1 to 6 0. That's all for now. Bye bye.